Hello everybody, today I'm going to try to answer a simple question whose answer is complicated. Is the Oculus Quest with the link good enough to play PC racing simulators? Please check this video of mine if you need help in finding good Oculus Link cables. That video was not sponsored, it was all bought with my own money. However, Cable Creation saw that video and sent me a USB-C hub for my wife's computer who has a mess of cables to, to be plugged for the job, so thank you, it's very appreciated. Now back to our subject, is the Oculus Link good enough for sim racing? Firstly, I already made a video a long time ago on the subject, but with ALVR long before Oculus launched a revision of the Quest with the Link. ALVR is a free wireless solution for playing Steam VR games. There is also a paid software called Virtual Desktop which has undergone major revisions since and it's certainly the solution to consider today for wireless PC gaming on the Quest. In addition, it is possible to play games from the Oculus Store. But back to our subject. Why choose the link when they are a wireless solution that could work with a good Wi-Fi router? Surprisingly, it's not for the quality of the graphics rendering because it is possible to obtain such a clear image most of the time with virtual desktop. The Link USB connection does not allow miracles, unfortunately. The main reason is the reliability of the connection. In wireless, you may experience slowdowns or cuts sometimes. For some, it's very rare, but this is unacceptable for sim racing because the slightest cut can send you crashing off track or in another car. It does not forgive. It is very frustrating when this happened to you on the last lap of a 30 minute race. It's also a problem for a game like Beat Saber, but you just have to replay the song that doesn't last very long. Imagine a player of the iRacing service. He cannot afford the slightest connection problem considering the impact of an accident on his own and above all, that of other racers. For this reason, a USB connection is recommended for serious sim racers, in my opinion, unless you are very lucky with your Wi-Fi. So is the Oculus Link good enough? The answer is yes and no to be frank. First, comfort is an issue for many players. It's no secret to anyone. This is the first hurdle for people playing long hours straight. The Oculus Rift is much more comfortable for sim racers for around the same price. Unfortunately, the Samsung Odyssey Plus is not, but you can modify it with some accessories like you can do it on the Quest. But in the end, I was able to achieve a more comfortable experience with the Samsung than the Quest. The second point I would like to discuss with you is the refresh rate. The Oculus Quest has the lowest refresh rate of all devices at 72Hz. If your computer is not the most powerful, this can actually be an advantage if it is able to maintain this refresh rate without being able to generate 90Hz on other headsets or 80Hz on the refs. Games like Project Cars 2 are extremely demanding and many players have to rely on the ASW mode which work at half the refresh rate while interpolating the missing images. This mode works very well on Oculus headsets, however on the Quest we go from 72 Hz to 36 Hz, which is rather low. It is possible here to see the difference in my opinion. In addition, at the slightest jerk in computer performances, the image can be choppy since there is no wiggle room for slowdowns. Overall, it does the job if your computer can maintain the minimum refresh rate of 72 Hz. Keep in mind that games are even more demanding on the link. The last point now. In order to transmit all data via the USB connection, the image must be compressed. This results in a softer image than the refs, for example. For most games, this is not a problem because the result is still very good. For simulation games, the impact is more important because we are mostly looking to the horizon where the lack of resolution or detail is an issue, with the most set set anyway for the current generation. The image quality is therefore not exceptional for the Oculus Link with games like Project Cars 2, Dirt Rally and others. But understand me, it's still good and certainly better than the Oculus Rift CV1, that's for sure. But if you want to buy a dedicated headset only to play sim racing games, please choose another option. The Oculus Quest, however, will do the job for the casual sim racer. 
You don't need to buy a second headset like the Refest just to enjoy sim racing if you already own the Quest. I hope you've liked this video and my French Canadian accent, so please think about subscribing, comments below, comments? No, comment, comment, com below? comment below. <laughs> and see you next time, ciao.